Hey everyone, uh, my name is Suresh. Uh, we have been uh, learning uh, the basics of Vagrant so far. Uh, in the last video, we have uh, seen a talking concept in Vagrant. Uh, more uh, specifically, we have seen uh, port forwarding. Uh, what happens in the port forwarding, uh, the virtual machine is uh, exposed uh, to the outside world. That means uh, any machines uh, that are connected to your local area network uh, would be able to access uh, your virtual machine. And uh, uh, some scenarios you don't want to expose your uh, virtual machine to all the people and you just want to give access uh, uh, only to your host machine. Uh, uh, how do we do that? Uh, there is a concept called uh, private networking in Vagrant. Uh, that's what we are going to learn now. I've been running two virtual machines uh, in my host. Um, the first machine inside uh, this uh, Vagrant folder and the second uh, virtual machine uh, inside this uh, server 2 folder and uh, I have uh, uh, opened uh, two configuration files on the left hand side uh, the, the top uh, file uh, belongs to this vagrant folder and uh, the bottom uh, configuration file belongs to this uh, server to folder okay let's see how we can create a, a private network uh, for all our virtual machines okay before that uh, I'm going to remove the configuration changes that I have made uh, uh, last time uh, that uh, that I have made it for uh, port forwarding so I'm just commenting out um, okay now let me add uh, uh, a private network uh, so I'm, I'm adding a, a configuration uh, and I'm giving the option uh, called uh, private underscore network so that would make sure that uh, uh, this virtual machine uh, will be put in the private network right and I'm giving the IP address also so that is the IP address which is going to be assigned uh, on that uh, virtual machine you can look at this IP address uh, this belongs to class B network uh, this is very important actually the IP address which you are going to choose that should not conflict with uh, the existing uh, uh, network okay existing private network uh, in in my case uh, my home computer is already connected to uh, uh, my home network which is uh, which is a private network and that belongs to class c uh, network ip okay i can show you that uh, if you look at this uh, network settings then uh, you can see it over here this 192.168 uh, that means uh, it's a classy network right uh, so if i try to while while, while creating a, a, a private network for my virtual machine if i try to uh, use this ip address or this network uh, prefix uh, network prefixes uh, in this case uh, this is uh, the network prefix okay so that is that that would identify uh, my uh, network so if I try to use this network prefix while creating a private network then uh, it will uh, throw an error let's let's try that first now after that you can keep any uh, number uh, that's that's that belongs to the host uh, uh, let's let's try this one first i'm trying to reload so that i assume that uh, you know uh, it will pick up the new configuration and uh, try to create a virtual machine and put that virtual machine uh, into this uh, private network it should uh, throw an error message yes so if you look at this one uh, you know it says that uh, uh, the host network uh, collides with the uh, non host only network right uh, because as i told you before this, this uh, network prefix is already used uh, that is being used by my home network right so you cannot create another one uh, that's the reason uh, safely you know i chose uh, entirely different uh, class network mm, i just uh, mm, you know choose uh, class b uh, network now let me reload uh, this so 
this time uh, it should uh, create a virtual machine in that uh, um, uh, network okay so it's uh, successfully created uh, let, me, let me let me get into this machine I mean let me check the network uh, settings you can see that uh, this is the IP address uh, which I have assigned uh, in my configuration file that is uh, picked up uh, by this machine um. so you can see that uh, uh, our Apache server is running and that is uh, you know being hit by this uh, call call and uh, we got uh, uh, 200 okay now the good thing is that uh, uh, I'm inside the virtual machine you know at the same time I can access uh, the host machine as well okay usually the host machines uh, IP address is going to be uh, anything like that then uh, just one so this is this is actually I'm hitting uh, my host machine uh, not the virtual machine this 200 ok is uh, different uh, from the first 200 ok yeah uh, you I can uh, show you the page but uh, you can you know uh, differentiate uh, from uh, uh, the Apache server configuration so this is my virtual machine and uh, this is different if you see it so this server is running in my host machine right so um, one one advantage is that uh, from the virtual machine uh, you know you would be able to access your host machine at the same time from the host machine you can access uh, your virtual machine you see that so this is coming from the virtual machine now uh, let me get inside uh, this virtual machine and let me try to code so now I, now I'm inside uh, another virtual machine right and uh, I'm trying to call this one so I'm getting the response uh, from the virtual machine one that means um, virtual machines uh, you know can talk to each other in the same uh, private network and the host machine can also um, connect to the virtual machines let me access uh, this virtual machine uh, from the browser uh, you can see uh, the index page which is served from my virtual machines Apache server mm. which is fine because I'm still uh, in the same host right so I should be able to access uh, the private network mm. uh, let me show you another thing uh, I have already connected uh, my mobile device uh, in the same network I mean uh, the same home network uh, the host machine and uh, my mobile are in the same uh, class C network right mm. uh, let me uh, try to access the virtual machine from my mobile device So you can clearly see that uh, my mobile device is not able to connect to the virtual machine uh, though it is in the same uh, network as my host machine. Uh, this is one of the advantages uh, of having a private network. Um, I've seen uh, how to create a private network uh, for our virtual machines and uh, assign uh, uh, static IP address now if you think that uh, uh, finding a, a non-conflicting static IP address is difficult then don't worry there is an option through which uh, you can uh, uh, create a, a private network uh, let me get into my other uh, vagrant configuration So this is the other server. Uh, so there is an option called uh, type. 
in the type you can mention uh, DHCP this is uh, a dynamic host configuration protocol uh, what it does is that uh, it's going to uh, manage uh, uh, the uh, network uh, IP provisioning for you uh, it will just you know whenever uh, any uh, new machine is connected to the network uh, it's going to broadcast uh, then uh, uh, the request will go to uh, the DHCP and the DHCP server is going to assign uh, uh, IP address to that machine okay that's how it works now let me get out of this machine and let me reload I haven't uh, mentioned the IP address I have just uh, you know uh, left everything to that uh, DHCP let's see what uh, how we are uh, getting the IP address assigned or uh, subnet mask uh, mm -hmm. uh, configured let's wait and see now it's created let's get into the machine uh, check the network settings uh, you can see it over here see I I haven't uh, mentioned uh, any of this right so this is assigned uh, by DHCP uh, that knows uh, you know how many uh, private networks are available and uh, uh, which uh, network prefix it can choose and uh, which host it can assign for this uh, uh, virtual machine so that handles everything for you uh, so this is one of the um, good things uh, which uh, Vagrant has got it one more thing I would like to uh, share with you all uh, that is uh, a subnet mask so uh, Vagrant uh, has got uh, uh, configuration through which you can uh, uh, configure uh, the subnet mask for your uh, private network uh, that's uh, going to be something like this then you give uh, the subnet mask so this is like uh, if you have already known about uh, CIDR format uh, then uh, the number 24 means uh, you know first uh, 24 bits uh, will be uh, given uh, uh, bit 1 right uh, anyway this is like uh, 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 you know uh, it's not uh, the scope of uh, uh, this tutorial uh, but uh, you can do it uh, that's all about uh, uh, the private networking in Vagrant uh, thank you so much for watching uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel I'll see you again uh, with my next video